welcome back so now in this video we will create more methods above the widget bill so let's go ahead and start working on that there we go with the widget build and move that in here the first one that we will create is going to be future type gonna return future in here so write future and then in here we will write u int 8 and then we see a list first let me just write the code now we will simply just give the name to this specific method it is gonna be get images from markers we can simply get that and what I'll do now in here we will pass two parameters it's gonna be string type the first that we will just pass as path for the specific image and integer type width and as I told you already it's gonna be future type so in here I sync and curly braces in here scroll down now click upon that and just import the library type data as you guys can see that specific library import that and the error has been gone now so as I told you already this method is gonna return a feature in the at list as you guys can see it simply means it will just represent the image data in the form of unit at list and it will just take two parameters that we are passing it's going to be simply the path for the specific image and also the width to which the specific image should be resized now let's move ahead and we will say by data object data in here now in here we will assign first you will write avid so since it's a feature type asynchronous method evolve it until the actual result comes so in here we will say avid and then we say root bundle then simply we will say dot load with the specific path that we are passing as a perimeter above in here just write it and write it and semicolon and basically it's use that root bundle dot load method from Flutter it will just load the image file data as a by data object okay and the root bundle is basically a free defined instance that allows access to the assets bundle with the app and then we just assign that to this specific data object now let's move further then we say UI dot codec in here object name codec and then we'll just assign first we'll say avid since it's a asynchronous method in here avid and then we say ui dot instantiate let me just write it first then I'll explain it image codec and then we say in there data dot buffer and we can simply just refer it as a unit at list in here as you guys can see the segregation now in here comma and let me just scroll to the right side so that you guys can see it easily now we'll say target height in here and let's move further to the right side target height gonna be the width in here and we are just passing as a parameter above and right it and semicolon now simply we will go and just import our library for this specific UI code DAX so what I'll do for this specific UI we'll say import and we're gonna just say dark UI as a UI in here 
so then the error will be gone let me just see here we are error has been gone from the UI so basically it just uses that UI instantiate image codec method to create an uh, image codec from the unit at least basically the representation of the image data that obtained from the byte data and right at end we just set the target height to the parameter with that we are passing in here as in teacher type and then we just assign that right to this contact object from the UI codec now let's move further and and here we'll say UI as you guys can see the suggestion in here then we said dot frame info we're gonna now give the object name as a frame info and then we just assign since uh, it's asynchronous we'll say avit and then we say codec okay with the help of that we're gonna simply just get to the next frame so in here we'll say get next frame and write it and semicolon so simply in here we just use that created codec from here with the help of that it's gonna just retrieve the first frame of the image using codec dot next frame and then we just assign that right in the right in this frame info now let's move further we're gonna simply now say return brushes in here have it and then we say with the help of frame info in here we're gonna simply then say dot image dot to byte data and in there format gonna be simply UI dot image byte format and it's PNG you guys know that okay let me just show you right in the images PNG okay now we did we're gonna simply say exclamation mark then we say dot buffer and as a unit at least we'll get it right at end semicolon all just fine now let me just explain it so basically this line of code it will just convert the image specific image to a byte data object in PNG format using that specific line of code and right after that what it will do it will return the image as a unit at least by accessing the buffer property of the obtained byte data and we will get it then so that's why in here we just return it so I hope it's clear now now we will move further and create another method so above the widget build in here let's create another method by the name pack data and this will be feature type so in here async asynchronous and then now we're gonna use the for loop in here first let me just write it and just explain it later in here we will take the integer type a variable and gonna assign 0 from the 0th index it will start and then we say a less than images dot length so it's gonna then just get the images and check upon it from the 0th index and let me just show you it's gonna be that one and when the loop completes it's gonna then simply come for the second one and so on so that's why in here we just provide the total length of images and right after that in here semicolon and then you will just increment that variable a because there is seven images and we want to just get that in a manner we have to increment that so it will just come back right to the specific images and right after that in here curly braces take this down 
now we will say right in here final key is going to be non-changeable then we say unit at least in here and then icon in here icon marker so let's write it in here and then we'll simply just say of it since it's asynchronous so we have to just add until the actual result come and then we say get images from markers the method that we created while ago so call upon that in here and now we'll just provide the path and width in here so the path is images okay because we have to check up on all of the same images so that's the path with a specific index number so right on the zeroth index there will be a first image then on the first index there will be a second image and so on so we have to provide the a in here since the value will be incremented and it's gonna just check all of the index number and right after that in here comma and then the width we will set it to let's say 90 for now we will just change later if this will not be proper now write it and semicolon so as I told you already we just call upon that specific method and avert until the actual result will come since it's asynchronous method it's gonna simply just load the images data for the marker icon and you guys will notice that whenever all of the code will be completed and then you will test the app and guys remember that that this specific method that we just created in here is uh, asynchronous okay and it's just returning unit at least so that's why in here we just assign this in the icon marker by unit at least now let's move further now we're gonna simply just add the markers so in here I'll say my marker and then we say dot add so rendered and semicolon just get this brush down from here now in here we'll say marker and gonna provide the marker ID so we'll say marker ID and the ID gonna be simply for the first image it's gonna show a different digit number because we are just starting from zero and it's gonna then check all of the images one by one so in here you'll have that variable integer type and we're gonna simply just convert this to string so in here we'll say dot to string and write it and comma and also in here comma and take this press down right after that we're gonna simply have the position okay let me get this down from here position so position gonna be simply the latitude and longitude that we just provide in here you guys can see that all of the latitude and longitude for the specific images so by the name let long for images so we have to just copy that from here and go down right in here the position paste it and it's gonna simply just then get one by one all of it so in here we have to provide that variable a because it is gonna start from zero and check one by one so we have to provide that specific index number in here and right after put comma in here and then also we will just provide the icon so in here we'll say bit descriptor dot from bytes and in here we'll say icon marker so it will just show that and right after that comma in here get down also you will show the info window info window in here there we go now in there we'll have a title and the title is gonna be first we will write a text for it title marker and then we will just print it so what I'll do in here we'll say dollar sign and a and come in here also in here 
and this bitmap descriptor from Bice gonna just pass the icon for marker okay now we are done with that we're gonna call upon the set state in here basically this state is used to notify the framework that the state has been changed and uh, rebuild is needed so it's gonna just change the result dynamically since it's a stateful widget that we are working in and right after that we're gonna just call upon the init state in here and we'll say pack data there we go call upon that in here and all of the working has been completed for the custom markers and I have already explained this in detail so let's go ahead now and we will check the result so come here and hot reload the app click upon that and it's working totally fine and you guys can see that specific markers okay custom marker that we add uh, I can images for it you guys can see the car right in here okay and the other one right here and let me just there we go as we choose the different latitude and longitude for the specific marker icons and you guys can see that in here let me just zoom out there we go okay the bike car in here also in here there we go with the Lamborghini the bike in here and also the specific two car right in here so that's how you guys can simply add the custom marker in the Google map and if you guys just click upon that specific icon it will just show you the info window let's go ahead and click upon it as you guys can see title marker one on the bike here we are and also the other cars okay so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see you then